The Montville Baptist Church Devotional for Monday, September 28, 2020, from Call to Glory. The Eyes and Ears of the Lord The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. Psalm thirty-four, fifteen. This morning's verse tells us about the eyes and ears of the Lord. As we read this verse, we see the Lord and the petitioner. I would like for us to consider both petitions as related in our verse. Concerning the Lord, we first see his attribute of omnipresence in the fact that his eyes are on the righteous. That is, he can see every one of his children, no matter where they may be, and there is no one who is left out of his presence. We also see that every prayer given by the righteous is heard by our great and mighty God. Praise the Lord. This shows us his attribute of omniscience and omnipotence. He invites us to come to him. He promises to hear our prayers, and he gives us the confidence of knowing that he will answer our prayers. One other ingredient needed to be added is the seriousness of praying on the part of the petitioner. Our prayers are often barren because we offer them half-heartedly or without really believing that the Lord will answer them. There is also a mutual point to emphasize, and that is the word righteous. Our Lord is righteous, and all He does is righteous and holy. Because of that, He can only respond to prayers of those who are righteous. Please note that the only way for a person to be righteous in God's sight is to have received the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. We have a great Lord who sees and hears His own, but we also have a Lord of character who sets high and holy standards for those who are invited to approach Him the presence of their petition. Our Heavenly Father, to me it's a great comfort to know that your eyes and ears are upon us. You see us, you hear us, and you watch over and guide us. Father, when we speak to you, may it be with a whole loving heart, understanding that you are a holy and righteous God. Thank you, Lord, for being who you are and what you are. And we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.